What's this battle you're calling out about? My name's Rakios. It's a pleasure to meet you. Cassandra, tell me about the battle. The battle of 100 hands draws warriors from all corners of the Greek world to compete for a large purse. But as competitions go, it's also very deadly. A last person standing type of affair. Killing is how I make my drachmi. This battle will be no different. It's true. You have the look of a mythical hero about you. I expect future generations to sing songs in my honor. If you join the battle, you'll have the chance to prove your metal against the best. And because the battle is backed by the most powerful and influential people in the Greek world, the purse is always growing. If you mean the people I think you mean, then I would like to meet them and have a few words. Indeed. They are the kind of people I would never speak about openly. You know, you do look like someone I've met before. Another fierce warrior. Family resemblance, perhaps. You mean Vimos? Then this battle is backed by the cult. Of course, I can't talk about that. Not with any old challenger, but become the champion of the Battle of 100 Hands, and I'll tell you all I know. I want to fight in the battle. I thought you might. The only rule is that every competitor must train with another competitor, and they must vouch for each other. And you can direct me to a worthy training partner. Indeed, indeed. One of our top-ranked competitors is looking for a training companion. Roxana. She spars on Idria, the island just north of here. What started the tradition of a free-for-all battle on Melos? I started it with some financial support from the powerful people I mentioned. The metaphor is that each combatant is battling a hecaton here. The creature with 50 heads and 100 hands. Indeed. By defeating all the competitors, it's as if the champion has slain the creature itself. Quite an achievement. Not something to be attempted by the weak. Indeed. What do you know about Roxana? She's from a long line of aspiring champions. Indeed, virtually her entire family has tried to win the battle of 100 hands. Aspiring champions? None of them were as skilled as Roxana, it must be said. How did you become the person who organizes the battle? I was an up-and-coming merchant in these parts. Down on my luck, it turned out. Owed a few favors, then some powerful people called in those favors. Turned out to be good for me. Blood sports are big business on Melos. These powerful people you mentioned, they are the cult of Cosmos, aren't they? The mysterious ones. You want to meet them? I know, but it will have to wait. How long? I stay close with all of my champions. If you win the battle, it's something we can discuss over victory wine. I'm ready to compete. You haven't yet finished your training. You do seem capable enough. If you gave me a heavy bag of drachmi, however, I might be able to waive that requirement. I'll finish training and return. Would you like to be rich? Are you the next champion? You, Mystios, you look like a true contender. Here. Anything I can do to gain Sparta some ground, Commander? You! 
Mystios, you're the one who won the battle for Megaris, for us Spartans. Your army needed a champion, and I responded. Easy. Thanks to you, Athenian efforts are fractured in this area, and my regiment is finally ready to strike. What do you need? A certain Athenian commander is all that stands in our way to victory. Sounds like you're asking me to kill the Athenian commander. Exactly. He must be gutted. Consider yourself lucky. It's already been taken care of. You've served Sparta well. This is for you. All in a day's work. even have an official training partner. It's because she's too good for any of them. Roxana nearly killed my son when they sparked this week. He's lucky. Had they been in the battle, she would have killed him. Yeah. Leave me, champion. Leave me, champion. Leave me, champion. Champion. Leave me, champion. Slayer, I'm glad to see you. Hafni, I didn't think you would be. The path I set you on is fraught with danger. You could have been killed, or given up. No danger could have kept me from seeing you again. Maybe you're getting ahead of yourself. Maybe. The Hind of Kerinea's pelt. 
I remember being awestruck when I caught a glimpse of her through the trees long ago. It was an honor to hunt such a noble beast. For all the suffering and death I've seen, when you see something as magnificent as this, words escape me. <laughs> Artemis was right to bring you to me. A warrior's heart beats within your chest, yet it is tempered by kindness. I'll return when I have more pelts. Ah, I could hear your footsteps. Welcome back. You'll be glad to know I've been to the statue of Athena at the Acropolis. Ah, if only I could have been there to feel her presence. Would you describe her to me? If Athens is a city of statues, then Athena is their guardian. She stands high above everything, on guard over the city. Yes, not just standing tall to protect Athens, but to serve as a reminder of the suffering those poor people endured during the invasion. Your turn to tell me something. You said a man tried to kill you. The man who rose up to kill the tyrant Xerxes was named Darius. He was of a new creed of killers, unlike any Persia had known. He was also the man hired to kill me. A killer of kings? Hired to kill a simple blind man? Why? I have your interest, do I? Tell another tale, and I will too. I'll be back with stories to tell. As soon as you've seen one location, please return. Goddess of war and wisdom. Do you have my seals yet? Yes, I have the seals for you. This will show those idiots in the assembly we're making progress. Interested in getting rid of more polemochoses for me? I'm interested. I'm impressed with your work. Did you expect any less? I had hoped, but hiring you was a gamble. Most things in life are. I am perhaps a bit more willing to gamble than my fellow generals would like. If you take no risks, you win no wars. Exactly! How is it a mercenary understands this when the greatest generals of Athens don't? I am not sure whether I should feel flattered or insulted. The Spartans are trying to find our supply lines. We've caught several spies already. We cannot afford such a loss. Not if you want to keep your troops alive, no. I need you to kill more of their commanders. Leave their hoplites without leadership. They'll be scrambling. Are you sure? Spartans are fierce warriors. Warriors, yes. Thinkers, no. They react like wild animals. Put them in a situation that requires genuine thought, and they fall apart. Kill the commanders and bring me their seals. We'll see how the other generals react to that. I'll get you your seals. The sooner the better. What do you think of the Spartans? If you were to ask General Ney on that, he'd tell you they were mindless brutes. That's half true. They have a base sort of cunning. It shouldn't be enough to withstand Athenian might. Assuming the other generals make intelligent decisions instead of stalling. You do know I'm of Spartan birth. You're more skilled than the average Spartan. In time, you might even manage Athenian citizenship. The true pinnacle of success. Of course. I wish I had more say over our naval forces. What I could do to the Spartans then. Have you held this command for long? I've been a general in the army for a long time. I made some mistakes in my early days, but I more than made up for them after. Still, everyone attributes my victories to luck. Never to my own decisions. I see how that could be frustrating. Other men take credit for my victories. Cautious men who cause needless deaths by overlooking opportunities. You know what happens to a general who loses his reputation? Who gets blamed for the loss of Athenian lives? 
Nothing good. He dies. So I will do everything to preserve Athenian lives. Maybe one day, I'll even get credit for my accomplishments. Why do you need these seals? I need those seals to shove in the faces of the assembled generals to get them to wake up. While they've been debating and stalling, I've been winning the war. I know what I have to do. Hmm. I don't see any soldiers here. Only pirates. Have mercy. You want mercy? Ah! Those who trade in slaves anywhere on my island will be marked as slaves themselves, then hauled to Attica and fed to the system they tried to profit from. Get this scum out of my sight. <laughs> I thought all pirates were slavers. And you are? My name is Cassandra. Well, Cassandra. We're all thought to be murderers too. So, tell me why I shouldn't kill you right here. I came to find the great pirate Xenia. That's you, isn't it? I like the sound of that. But what was your plan once you found me? I came to offer you a deal. Sneaking into my city is a strange way to make a first impression. I needed to speak with you directly. I didn't think your pirates would just let me walk up and knock. Then speak. I'm looking for a woman. She left Sparta when I was a child. I'll need more than that, Cassandra. She has birthmarks on her arm that form the constellation Aquila. Now, that is something I can work with. Just who exactly is this woman? She's my mother. I haven't seen her since I was a child. So, you're on a quest to find your family? Something like that. Then your path is not an easy one. Aspasia is the one who sent me to find you. Aspasia? Now why would she do that? She said you might have information that could help me in my search. You can have anything for the right price. And what is that price? One you can afford, I'm sure. Why do you need so much Drachmi? I have a city to secure and people to protect. I have no interest in going to war. I just want to make sure the war doesn't come to us. I don't have that kind of Drachmi. I find that surprising, given your profession. What proof do I have that you'll even find her? I already know Merini. How do you know that name? That's not all I know. Getting that much Drachmi won't be easy. You have a ship and a crew? That's enough to find work here in Coresia. And there is a stockpile of Drachmi held in the fort on the far side of the island. You want me to steal from your island? The other locals aren't too happy about us pirates. Their leader has amassed a fortune. If they have no drachmi, they can't do anything stupid. Don't worry. As long as you're working for me, you're one of us. Trust a pirate to only help for a boatload of drachmi. If I'm going to pay her, I need to find some work on this island. It should be much easier to travel the island now that everyone won't try to kill me on sight.
Yeah. 